All right, guys, Prince Sports here. Now, if you just saw the game, Lakers versus the Philadelphia 76ers, this is the um, one of their uh, seventh uh, road games, games on the road. They got seven road games. And I think this is the third, I think third or fourth. Um, but it was a good game, man. Came down to Tobias Harris hitting the game winner after Philadelphia blows a 14-point lead. Lakers almost won this game. You know, that just goes to show you that, you know, this Laker team is a good team. I think they're well put together. They run plays pretty good. Everybody seems to know their role. So everything is perfect for them, you know. Um, this is probably the first time LeBron could play a more Magic Johnson role, the role that he likes playing. And one thing I did notice about this game, though, see, this is why we say competition matters, because... This is a uh, playoff contending team, right? They're going up against the Lakers. The Lakers have been beating up on scrubs, basically. Teams below 500 that you know not going to go nowhere. Like the Cavs, the Bulls. You know, just watered down teams. This is why I say you can't take a record, a regular season record serious early in the season. Because it's too, it's too early. Now, if the Lakers could start beating more playoff contending teams and keeping the good record that they have... Then you make you could say they're the best team in the league, they're the best defensive team, that this and that. But you got to take those stats with a salt, of, um, a grain of salt, okay? Because competition does matter. You know, this is why certain people say, you know, if let's just take LeBron out the equation. Let's just say Kobe Bryant was in the Eastern Conference. You know, on uh, those teams in the the East where he was playing with two other All Stars with him. He'd be going to the finals every year, too, you know, but that's another conversation for another day. Let's focus on this game. Tobias Harris hits the game winner, right? Anthony Davis. I don't know what's wrong with Anthony Davis lately. We're going to have to call him out a little bit. He's been getting cooked. He was getting cooked by Tobias Harris, Joe Embiid, just about anybody that he was guarding. They were scoring on Anthony Davis. He just looks very out of it, like he's not into the game, you know, um, Ben Simmons was just driving to the cup on Anthony Davis, missing the layup, then getting his own rebound. And Anthony Davis just moving out the way. Um, so Anthony Davis needs to get his act together. Um, LeBron James is reasserting himself as the number one guy. Now, when you're the number one guy, you have to be the number one scoring option. All team leaders have to be the number one scoring option, especially in today's NBA, in modern NBA. You got to be the number one scoring option. You got to be the man on the team. And it was running a lot of the offense through Anthony Davis last season. Maybe they need to go back to doing that so he could be effective. Because with LeBron being that main guy with offensive now, <clears throat> um, it's a little bit different. I think it hinders um, Anthony Davis's game a little bit. So maybe they need to go back to that. But nevertheless, it was a good game. And um, man, I wish I was uh, um, on board to broadcast that one. See, it's always the games that you miss. <laughs> Also, in other news, the big three from the Brooklyn Nets, <clears throat> excuse me, they did their thing today, okay? Um, they all came through scoring. It went into overtime against the Atlanta Hawks. Defense is still an issue for this Brooklyn Nets team, but Kyrie Irving had 24, and um, Kevin Durant and James Harden both had 30, 30 plus a piece, you know, respectively. Um, the big three came through. They did their scoring, but you know what? They're still missing defense. That still seems to be Achilles' heel for this team. These guys could score, but they give up too much baskets. So they rely on um, trying to outscore people. I don't know if you could win the championship by outscoring people. I have never seen somebody win the championship by not playing defense, but just outscoring people. Yeah, I've been watching basketball since the 80s. And I have never, never, never seen a team win the championship and don't play defense. So defense has to be... Um, a primary goal, okay? Um, even last year, Lakers won the championship. They had bigs, guys that protect the paint. You got to defend, okay? There's an old saying, defense wins championships because it's the truth. You know, come playoff time, you're going to need somebody to get key stops because you could do all the scoring in the world, but it's not worth anything if you're giving up too much points, you know? Because all it takes is for the other team to have a good defensive players 
they can stop you dead in your tracks a little bit. Okay, I don't care how good of an offensive player you are. If you go up against a good defensive player, um, he will he will lower your points a little bit. Okay, or he will make things hard for you to a point that if you're not playing no defense at all, they're gonna still get the edge over you because they stopped you from a couple of possessions and they were still able to score on you because you're not playing defense. If that makes sense. Prince Sports out. Peace.